Here is some more theory for you. It's not a rare occasion that developers need to modify the standard behavior of the system. Imagine we try to save a document and it turns out that for some reason we want to cancel this operation, request additional information from a user, add some info to attributes or add some data to a database in accordance with the above mentioned additional information, make some changes to the form after the record is added and similar. So let us consider two kinds of handlers, event handlers and command handlers. We start with more complicated event handlers. Note that the platform sets names for all handlers. We cannot change the names, otherwise we lose connection to events they are processing. Well, why do we need handlers after all? Events happen anyway, be it opening of forms or writing documents, but keep in mind there is a difference between the two events, before and on. Here is the difference. The platform initiates handler before, immediately before the start of an event, while handler on is put into operation on completion of all event actions, but before the actual completion of the event. Consider document write event as an example. As we click button post, the system initiates the above mentioned event and before the actual transaction sets handler before write active and immediately on the transaction completion applies handler on write at server. And the last thing regarding event handlers is that these are formal parameters. As handlers are basically procedures and functions, they have input parameters. For example, in many cases, we have parameter cancel. This parameter means that it is possible to abort a write or some other action in the respective handler by assigning to parameter cancel value true. It means that the respective event does happen. All these parameters are predefined in the system and are applied only to modules where they exist. Right, now some words about command handlers. As compared to event handlers, we have more freedom here. We can create command handlers both on the client and on the server. At that, we can choose names for them as we like.